Okay, this game made me break my phone the other no day. No way. Okay, not really, but I, I did feel like it. It's this game. It's called the Common Sense Quiz. It's a bunch of questions which apparently 98% of people can't answer correctly. Right, okay. Imagine you're in an office building and everything around you is on fire. Just beyond the desk in front of you is a door, but flames are in front of it. How do you get out? Okay, I feel like it's something to do with imagine. I think because it's an imagination, it's not real and you can just walk out. But then, oh, dude, I don't know. There's flames in front of the door. Who's, there's another door. But probably there's another door. Is there's there a another window. door? You mm -hmm. can just walk to the window. Do you have a final answer? <laughs> you just walk out. That's my answer. Okay. I'm going to say it's because it's imaginary. It's not real. The answer? Well, stop imagining. Yes! The beginning of the sentence was, oh. imagine you're in oh an office God. building. Are you yes. kidding me? Yeah, That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. That all of looking... these things are like are imagined, aren't they? Not, it's not all like the whole thing. I guess that's kind of true. Like none of these things are real scenarios. Yeah. How can a man go eight days without ever hitting the hay? He does not hit Just the hay. Just don't hit the hay. Just don't hit the hay. In, in I think he's meaning physically hitting a thing of hay. Go eight, eight days. days. That, does that have something to do with only seven days being in a week? I don't think hit the hay means sleep. I feel like hit the hay means like literally, literally hitting, the hay. hitting a pile of hay. Yeah. I don't know. This is really this tricky. This is hard. Okay, I'm going to say, yeah, physically hitting the hay. That's what I'm going to say, too. Okay, let's hear the answer. The same way you do. He sleeps at night. Dude. <laughs> that one's so confusing. I feel like our IQ levels are slowly, slowly. just, like, plummeting. this <laughs> Steady <laughs> decline. Everyone else playing is just going to think we're so dumb. I don't know about that one. Let's do another one, man. Let's do another one. Winner takes all with this question. Okay, one more question. Winner takes all, let's see. If you get this question, you do not have to do the awful punishment. Do you know why 1968 pennies are more valuable than 1967 pennies? <laughs> I have a silly answer. I don't know if this is right. Inflation? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Technically. It's very current. It's a very topical. A penny in 19 whatever was probably more valuable than a penny later on. <laughs> I think. I can't, like, as soon as someone mentions numbers, I just lose concentration and focus. I'm liking this. Okay. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. I, Maybe I need was a coffee. <laughs> I feel like we need a final answer. We need an answer. Okay, let's ask JR producer, what do you think? I think uh, 1968, the way they're saying it is to try and confuse you. It's actually 1,968 versus 1,967. Oh. <gasps> so he's talking about an amount of pennies, right? Does that mean Jay wins if he gets it? <laughs> and we both have to do the punishment? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, considering the fact that 1,968 is just one digit higher than 1,967, yeah. that makes the amount larger and <laughs> a smidge more valuable. Oh my wow. god. Jay, you're genius. Jay, man of the hour. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jay won. Okay, I think that means we both have to do the punishment. Yeah, send us send us your punishment, guys. We'll, we'll both do it. We're both going to do the punishment. Let us know in the comments on Instagram or send us a DM. Oh, okay. A pleasant punishment, please.